Welcome back to CBS Saturday Morning. Discipline, focus, and teamwork are classic prescriptions for success, perhaps nowhere more so than in the hardworking nation of Japan. But one man has carved out his own strange path to fame and fortune by doing quite the opposite. From Tokyo, Lucy Kraft has the story. Most days, Shoji Morimoto has appointments with a steady stream of clients. His service is as popular as it is peculiar. He bills himself the do-nothing rent-a-man. I lend myself out to do nothing, which means I don't make any special effort, he said. Eating, drinking, or simple chit-chat, that's about it. And that's enough for this customer who requested anonymity. For his mostly female fans, Rent-A-Man offers a safe space. No judgment, no strings, and on request, no talking. In Japan, women tend to worry about what other people think, about not being a burden, she said. It's exhausting. This kind of escape is important. Rent-A-Man has struck a chord in this workaholic and conformist country. He's collected almost a quarter of a million followers on Twitter. In his pre-slacker days, Morimoto bounced aimlessly from one job to another. Out of desperation and on a lark, he decided to rent himself out, charging only for food and car fare. Thousands of encounters later, Rent-A-Man's experiences have earned him royalties from four books, including a manga comic about joining clients at museums in Disneyland or providing moral support for a divorcing spouse. His signature blue cap and backpack and his inexplicable success inspired a semi-fictional TV series last year. I have plenty of critics, he said. They say, get a job, but I don't feel the need to answer to anyone. His next client was 44-year-old healthcare worker Tamami Miyazaki. With my friends, I'd obsess over whether they might like the bar I chose, she said. But with Rent-A-Man, there's no drama. <laughs> At 38, the father of one said he has no plans to retire. Nothing's more fun, he says, than doing nothing. For CBS Saturday Morning, Lucy Kraft, Tokyo.